Welcome. Three days ago, I received a diagnosis of prostate cancer, and I thought I'd just say a little bit about how I'm feeling around that. Um, mainly, I feel like I got you, you sneaky, sneaky little bastard. Cancer is less of a monster and more of a cowardly assassin that lurks in the shadows for anyone and everyone who isn't attentive. I have been attentive. I've been exploring this for 10 years. Uh, I've had two biopsies, an MRI, lots of blood tests, lots of consultations, lots of support from doctors and nurses over that 10 years, mainly to look after other joyous, manly prostate issues, but always in the background with the possibility that what had been a benign enlarged prostate might become malign. And that's happened. And I am at the very foothills of cancer at stage one. Of 25 samples, only two were found to be cancerous, and one of those was found to be extremely unaggressive. So it's only one that's causing modest concern. Um, so yeah. So I guess what I wanted to say is to you men, watch it. It, it can creep up behind you. You can start, for me, back in my 40s, when I found that, amusingly, I couldn't pee in a straight line anymore. And then it became peeing more often, uh, with greater urgency. And it's at that time, um, in my early 50s, that I went to the doctor and went, mm, what's, what's going on around this? And it's the best thing that I've ever done, because it's brought me to this place. It has kept me and my needs in the minds of my doctors, and it's kept it in my own mind. Um, it's slightly surprising. My consultant was surprised um, because I had an MRI scan back in April last year, which was absolutely clear. Um, the cancer is localized, which is to say it hasn't spread anywhere else, and it's deep inside the prostate, so it's not on the edge, so it's not easy to spread. Uh, it's only in two spots out of 25 tested. Uh, one is very unaggressive and one is moderately aggressive, but kind of at the low end of that. So it's an intermediate uh, diagnosis. Completely treatable. I have a range of treatment options and I am doing my homework at the moment, going through the brilliant resources from prostatecancerUK.org. Um, if you need advice, even if you're not in the UK, I can't recommend their well-written, well-designed, frank, um, and easy to understand advice done as a charity, not for profit, not with any angle. Um, treatment doesn't include chemotherapy. So, you know, I get to keep my own hair and, you know, life will carry on. If you're the kind of man who enjoys having relatively faint acquaintances put a well lubricated finger into your bottom that will still all be going on um or if you're like me and find it faintly amusing in like how is the universe arranged to make this activity okay and normal in this set of circumstances um so yeah if you are 50 plus and a man and you aren't being as vigorously as you used to, um, go see the doctor, have a little chat. They'll be pleased to see you. They'll be delighted that you've come. They will immediately bring up a whole range of things, almost all of which don't include cancer. Um, but you know, you could be one of those one in eight. So yeah, do the manly thing and recognize your vulnerability. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Thanks very much for listening and take care of yourself.